Shocky Gamer here. So today we'll take a look at the CTA Digital Assault Rifle Controller for PlayStation 3. Now this is the Move Edition, so it comes with uh, the Move Cradle. Is a little sticker there advertises. So the box itself sort of looks like a gun crate or gun box. It's got that kind of style to it. On the back of the box, it says Assault Rifle Controller for PlayStation 3. And it's got a cool image there of the rifle. On here it says, The Assault Rifle for PlayStation 3 is the number one piece of equipment any gamer needs to wreak havoc in the modern first-person shooters, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or most first-person shooting or hunting games. Our Assault Rifle controllers, every button featured on the PlayStation 3 DualShock Wireless Controller, including clickable analog sticks for strafing, running, setting your weapon, and looking around within the game environment. Simply so plug in the USB dongle to the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 3 and press the home button on the rifle to sync wirelessly. A unique feature is a trigger which functions as the R1 button, allowing you to experience realistic reaction type of gameplay. The built-in speaker allows the controller sound effects, which can be turned on and off, to come alive when you pull the trigger. A single shot, three shot burst and fully automatic modes. These sounds can be activated even if the rifle is not synced with the PlayStation 3. This rifle truly has been designed with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 in mind and provides the first putting shooting games players with something they will not be able to ignore. Features include powered by two AA batteries, uses trigger as R1 button, lifelike shooting sound effects from built in speaker, includes removable scope and stock. Specifications wireless USB syncing with PS3 console. All controller buttons, D-pad, thumbsticks, PS button, start and select buttons, all within reach. Four LED lights with display controller port selection, on-off switch, realistic looks and lightweight construction. Package includes assault rifle controller, USB antenna, scope, stock. And instructions, plug in the USB dongle, turn on the rifle and press the PS button to sync. So that's pretty much all that's on the back of the box. Another cool thing this box has, um, it's quite a nice little thing, so you can actually preview the rifle. It's got this flap that lifts up, and you can actually see the rifle through the screen there. So it does look pretty awesome. And of course the top flap here, it's got some closer um, images with the move um, the cradle attached to it. And it's got a guy holding it over there, and it's all these things it says pretty much the same as the back of the box and of course it adds games it says compatible with other games sort of like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1 and World of War so bear in mind this rifle did come out when um, MW2 came out so that's why it advertises that anyway so let's take a look at this controller Alright, so other than this, you also get this little instruction book. I took it out earlier because it always gets stuck in the bottom of the box. Um, basically, this just has a little like thing advertising CTA. It has a little, like, little instruction manual. It shows you basically the rifle there, key features, um, basically all the buttons where they're all they place and everything. How to install the stock and the scope, and also how do you install the batteries and operate the sound effects on the rifle. So it's cool, just a little quick start guide just to get you started really. Alright, so this is what you get in the packaging. So we'll start with the rifle body. So that is the rifle body right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull some of these stuff out here and show you it one by one. That way we can cover everything. Okay, so first off, like I mentioned before, this is the main rifle body. Okay, so you've got your end piece here, it goes onto the body. You've got your first analog stick on the end here. You've got a D-pad. You've got an on-off switch. You've got your trigger. You've got your second analog stick over here. And that's uh, the L2 and the R2 buttons down there. Alright, so that's the one side. On the other side, 
you've got your select start and home buttons there you've got your fire mode here which also controls the sound effects on the end of the barrel here you basically have um, your main playstation buttons your square triangle circle uh, x and your l1 button so the idea is you hold it like this or basically buttons line up with your fingers line up with the stick and you can press those while doing the stick same with that and that and you can basically reach everything next part and comes in the box is of course a little USB wireless receiver so you basically this is what you plug into your PlayStation 3 so it can basically receive signals from the gun next thing is the stock so just really kind of plain stock um, how you install it is on the back here it's got a little cover you pull the cover off and the stock just slides in you do have to align it somewhat and sometimes it can take a, just a little bit of a um, sort of pressure to just clip into place um, but once it's clipped into place it's pretty solid like that and it clips in pretty solidly there so now you've got a stock which will just stay out so you can fully see it as you can see it makes it look more like a rifle and that allows you to put in your shoulder and hold it a bit more like a rifle Uh, the next part of it is, of course, the scope. That's it there. Now, it's pretty much a dummy scope because you can't see through it. As you can see, it's just a totally blacked out, just for really, just for looks. Nothing really special. This clips onto the top here. Now, there's grooves in there, and there's, like, the grooves in there, so they just line off and clip in. This can be kind of tough to clip into place because it's pretty tight. Um, there we go. And again, stand up so you can see what it looks like in whole. So as you see, it looks more like a rifle, even more so now. Looks pretty cool. So the next feature of this one is, of course, the sound effects. So not only is this a controller, but it also does sound effects. So before you've even synced that up and done anything with it as a controller itself, you can then put sound effects, and that takes two AA batteries. So, you put them in here. Let's install the batteries. You turn it on. And on the other side here, where I showed you it had a, a fire mode selection, which is this, you can change it from single to three shot burst to basically full automatic. So, we just turn it to one and we pull the trigger, it'll just shoot once. If we turn it to three fire burst, it'll shoot three times. If we turn it to basically full automatic, it'll shoot continuously. Okay, so as it stands right now with those kind of sound effects, it is it's basically like a toy. I mean, you could pretty much give it to your kids to play with, and they can go, you know, and have a bit of a play with it and play with the fire modes before it's even plugged in. So before it even becomes a controller, it looks like a toy. It has sound effects like a toy. It could be played with like a toy, okay? Next part is the controller function. Now it has two dual analog sticks, like I mentioned before. So basically, what that what that means is that you actually use those for aiming and also movement. You do not use the gun as, and you do not aim like this. Okay, so you're using the sticks for your movement and your aiming, just like you would do a controller. So basically, at this point, what they've done is they've taken your DualShock 3 controller and they've put it into a rifle shape. So they put that into that, and they've made a rifle. That's what they've done. Um, so it, it's nothing better than this, basically. Um, you know, it doesn't really have anything other features, like in terms of like what it does. You just press the buttons, you aim that, you're not moving the gun around. You're just holding the gun like this, and you're playing. And you're doing sound effects, you know. The sound effects is more of a, 
a gimmick, you could say. Um, it's nothing really fancy. It, they sound like sort of toy sounds. I mean, it does give it a cool little gimmicky feature, but nothing really fantastic. But what does redeem itself, and this is why I recommend to people, if you're going to be buying this, to buy the Moo edition, which is the second edition that comes with it, Move Cradle. Because the Move Cradle adds Move function to it, which means that you just take this um, Move Cradle that it came with, and you install this one, and then you install it by lining basically it up like on the side here. All right, so those little grips go around the handle. That um, goes it basically goes in that hole there. There's actually a little grip there that lines up, and it's same thing on the top here. When I get a line, it goes into that and clips into place. Okay. So it clips on there pretty solid, and as you notice, it gives you a second trigger. So that instead of pulling the actual raft or trigger, you're pulling the second trigger, which is actually pulling that little, which is basically controlling the move. All right, so you take your move controller, your move motion controller, and you slip it into the front, like so, and you clip it into place. And now, it is a move rifle. I'll stand up to show you a full look at that. So now it is a move rifle. As you can see, it's got the cradle there. It's got the stock scope. It's cool. So basically now it does give you that accuracy. So now you can aim like this. All right. So if this is a straighter game like, um, say, Time Crisis, where you're just aiming and shooting, you can hold it down here. You shoot with that trigger, which is the second one and you aim like this. If, however, you still need to use navigation and you need the buttons, you can still use these and you've got the buttons on the other side as well. So you can easily still hold it like this and access all the same buttons. So the move doesn't hinder to access the buttons. Probably downside point of the move cradle is because it adds a second trigger, you need your hand on that side. So you need to be able to hold the gun with your right hand, which means if you're left hand, you like to hold the gun the other way, you're out of luck because you would be actually pressing this one, not the move trigger. Which, of course, you need to use the actual move functions. And you'd be aiming like this and aiming the move controller, which is this one here. So this actually turns into a more realistic rifle and actually makes it a bit more values worth. Because before they added the cradle, all it was was basically a gamepad into a rifle and a lot of people was just, a lot of people were disappointed with that and I mean it's understandable because all the adverts you thought you were actually getting a, a, can, a rifle you actually aimed like a real rifle but of course it wasn't like that but they did fix that by adding that move cradle so now it is a pretty awesome rifle I mean it's still got that kind of toy sound because it's got the sound effects on it but I mean they can be kind of gamer heat those sound effects, bear in mind, will not sync with in-game sounds. I mean, you might get the odd occurrence that they might be the same at the same time, but most times they're out of sync. So if you leave the game, the rifle sounds as well as the game, you'll get a shot in the game and a shot separately on the rifle. So it may be throw you out a bit. So it might be better to turn the actual rifle sounds off when you're playing in-game. But hey, if you're bored of the game and you've got some kids or something and they want to do it, then they've got a toy rifle they can play with as well. So I guess it's a dual purpose in that regard. Um, it works pretty well with Move. There's no complaints there. It is it is a nice it's a nice product. It looks pretty cool. Kind of disappointed by the scope though. I mean it is blacked out. It's useless. It's just for looks. Um, I wish it was actually a scope. You could actually look through that. It would be pretty cool. Um, but unfortunately not. And uh, overall though, it, it is a pretty cool product. It's pretty cool to hold too. Um, you can access everything. So, I mean, they, they've designed it to fit really nicely. And it's got a good weight, too. It's not really light like some of the uh, move rifles that are really light and sort of cheapy. This one actually has a bit of heft to it, especially when you add uh, the move and the move um, motion controller. So they add quite a bit of weight to it. So overall, it's a great rifle. If you do are gonna, if you are going to get this, though, I recommend you do get the move edition, though, with that cradle. Because if you're just buying the old version, which is just a standalone rifle on its own, just remember you're getting a rifle-shaped DualShock 3. You're not getting anything, any, anything fancy, you're just getting this shaped like a rifle. But if you buy the Move Edition, you are getting an extra cradle, which is adding an extra functionality, which is actually making it a more 
accurate piece um accurate piece of gaming gear that you can use while you're playing shooters that are move compatible. Um, but overall, it's a pretty cool product anyway. Um, I quite like it. I've used it for quite a few games, um, especially on the move games. I, I tried it a bit with the actual just the controller side and kind of got bored of holding a rifle that you just do the same thing as the controller. But um, yeah, otherwise it's a great product though. If you're after something like this, then it'll be cool even just to display on your wall. I think it's cool. Add to your armory of guns. Anyway, that's about all I can say about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Shocky Gamer. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll he have heaps more of control and accessory reviews up very shortly. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to. If you like this video, then hit that like button. And thanks for watching, guys.